Boys, boys, boys and girls. Now, what have we got here? Uh, this is a 475A5, D475A5 Komatsu. Now, I know you get this thing in 1 in 50 and in 1 in 1,000 and 1 in 200 and any bloody scale under the sun, but there's none in 1 in 24 scale. When I saw this thing, um, you know, at first I thought, where the hell did he get the kit? This was also built by Jörg. And to add to this, he built this 20 years ago. 20 years ago, the only things you could get commercially to sort of build models, not like today where they have resin kits and stuff like that, was a hammer. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. So this thing he built scratch from nothing. Even the tracks there. He built every single one of them. It is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I mean, I built models for a living. I cannot do this. I, I have a funny feeling I cannot do this. Ever so often you get a model that's an eye opener and you realize don't get too big for your shoes or too big a head. Because there's always oaks that's way, way better than you. This is one such model. Now, I put it on a lazy Susan so we can turn it and, and, and have a look at it. Now, you know, in real life, this is a 120 ton dozer. It's a big bastard. I, I, there was a bigger one, a 575, I think it was. Um, but I think they stopped building that a couple of years ago. That was that was a that was a monster. This thing is a monster. I mean, this isn't D eleven cat um, territory. You know, it's a big, big um, dozer. This now, you know, things that amazes me. Okay, Paul, I'm not going to do the weathering as yet. I'm just going to look at the model. Let's start there. You know, he did opening doors. Which I, you see like that, on a little hinge. If you look there, there's a full interior in it. Let's just bring that closer. Let's just see if you can see that. Um, you check there. It's a full interior. Um, doors open and close. The whole thing was built out of card and stuff. You know, so... This is, this is, this is, um, this is modeling, my friends. Now, look at the hoists. <laughs> okay, we'll get back, we'll get back to the blade just now. But look at the hoists, everything, all the hydraulic lines are there, lights, yeah. My favorite, the twin stacks, but that's not the thing. Look at the little flaps on top of them. Absolutely beautifully done. Double air cleaners. All this. So hasn't got a motor in. I'm actually still looking if I can't find what was that thing a 12 V somewhat 140 or something um, Komatsu engine. I want to see if I can't get one and you print it in resin because I think this you can. Ah, oh, there's two screws there. You can remove that and put a motor in there um, if you that way inclined later. Um, but yes, now look at the ripper at the back here. Hey, 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 hey. You know, and it's every. I mean, how the hell do you shape this? I mean, this is. I don't know. And it feels like it's metal. I know for a fact this is metal. This whole arm here is metal. And uh, he said to me, oh, yeah, that was a metal arm that he did. Look at this, yeah, all that and everything. Okay, so there you have like a sort of an overview of what we have here. Now, let's get to the weathering of this model. That absolutely blows my mind. And you know, you asked, I asked him yesterday, I said to him, so how did you do the, the blade? Because I know, you know what, I, I just sprayed it with an airbrush and this and that. And you know, boys, look at that thing. I mean, this is as real as it gets. 
it's just it's just crazy. Uh, he said to me that this was a metal plate at the bottom. This year, uh, that's card or something. I don't know how the hell he did this, but that whole thing must must have been shaped by hand, and. I have no idea how he did this. You know, it, that's 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 what I'm saying. I look at a thing and I ask him, okay, that I can do, that I can do, that I can do, uh, that I can't do. What the hell did he do here? You know, so yeah, weathering. Look at this. You know, as the sand grinds away the paint, the way it's done. It is absolutely perfect. The dirt there as well. You know, and all this paint that's off. And the oiliness over there. Boys, this is next level modeling. Let me tell you that much. This is next level modeling. Look at the weathering here on the ripper. You know, the rust and the... See the dark underneath there. You know, the paint off here. It, it's just... Man, 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 man. I, I'm telling you, this, this... When I saw this thing, I thought, hmm, yeah, this uh, decal here, yeah. apparently he built this thing, chucked it under his lapa, and it was lying there for 150 years until he showed me the picture. So I'm going to redo this with one of my decals. I'll, I'll get that done and see some of the others here. There is also a little one there that I can do. The decals are a bit worse for wear, but you know it actually ties in with the the whole model. But yeah, yeah, I can I can do those. Look at this thing, absolute the fading on the paint, the way he's done that, and obviously now with it lying there, the natural sort of weathering. Now I need to tell you as well now that I look at it through the phone, that the color is much more yellow on the phone than it is over there. Uh, what I see on the screen and what I see there is two completely different things, but okay. Um, look here as well. Check, check the dirt underneath there. It is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. The wiper at the back there. Small little handles and stuff that he's got on here. You know, it is, but the basic shape and things, you know, that, that, that. Yeah, obviously you had to work from a lot of reference pictures and a lot of this and a lot of that. But um, I looked at some of the pics and he's bloody close. He's very, very close. But end of the day, there's nothing available to my scale. So this, this, this is a, a once off. Um, you're not going to get a one in 24 scale Komatsu uh, unless you commission one from somebody who's cost you a million bucks. You know, so yes. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. This is such. I mean, I had a look at how he did the tracks and a piece of wire through there is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I, I out of everything that I bought, I reckon this, 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 and there's an international payloader that his brother built that I will show you tomorrow. That is also next level. Um, but that's a kit. This isn't. And this is what makes this probably the best model I've ever owned. Um, just because I know that it was built from absolutely bugger all. You know, if you look at the... Check at the back of the, the blade there. You see all the little detail there. Now, just a bracket. Just that bracket that sits there. Uh, just to make that and shape it that way and have it that it's exactly the same both sides and that it looks like a factory damn thing. All these brackets here as well. Remember, this guy hasn't got a laser cutter. You know, he didn't sit and draw this in laser. He cut that with a blade. And, you know, if you look across the angle like that, they're all perfect. Uh, this is just this is just next level modeling. I'm telling you, this is something that... Yeah, I don't know what, some of it's card, some of it's metal, the, you know, I don't, this cab, no, the cab's card as well. It is just, wow, just wow. Now, you can imagine now if I build my quarry one day 
and there is a top of a mine heap or something that they're removing and you have this oak just scraping piling sand up and flattening everything um yeah oh man i can do such a nice diorama with this and i think what i ultimately want for my layout is for it to be like a diorama just a massive one now i'm going to bolt the pieces bit by bit modular and then add them as i go along so that i can actually sit on a different place in my workshop at a table and build the seam and then put it down um the only problem with that is consistency you need to be consistent so you need to have enough material before you start doing the roads and stuff that you don't mess around with colors uh, otherwise you've got to spray the whole thing all right i'm wandering off dudes that's basically that just have a look at this blade again oh my goodness yeah very pretty right guys i'm gonna go we speak again tomorrow when i will show you the payloader okay dudes good your little teens